Hey, what's going on guys? Matt here, back with another video. Today, I'm going to be teaching you how to achieve the Jack Boys, Travis Scott, Gotti album cover aesthetic. It has like that very vintage film, green hue-ish aesthetic to it. And today I'm gonna to be teaching you how to achieve that in Adobe Lightroom desktop version. Let's hop into the computer and I'll show you how to do it. All right, so now we're on the computer. So first things first, you want to open up Adobe Lightroom. So once you have Lightroom opened up, you want to import your image. I'm just going to be using this photo of my friend Daniel, right? You want to make sure everything's set to zero. So the first thing you want to do is you want to change the temperature to 5,450. Right, you'll give it like a nice little like yellowish hue. Next you wanna change the tint, cause we want it to be like, not like too green. So do around like 12 tint. You can leave the exposure however you want. Each image is gonna depend on the lighting scenario and all that, but for this image, I'm just gonna keep the exposure. Next, I'm gonna add a little bit more contrast. So do like a plus 12 or so. Highlights, you wanna do like, you want to increase the highlights a little bit, so let's do like plus 18, works. Shadows, you can leave that or you can adjust it. Next, we want to adjust the whites, we want to make it a little like blown out, kind of, because it's like a little vintage like film effect. Then, you want to do the blacks to around like 47, so this is going to pretty much just like lift up the blacks a little bit. Do like 45-ish, will work. Um, Next, you want to scroll down. Let's add like slight texture to like 12 or so. And then let's do a little bit of clarity, right? So you want to boost the clarity to like 20 to 30. That works. Dehaze, you want to lower the dehaze, right? So you want to just bring out more of the shadows. So let's do like negative 35 ish. That works. Let's keep scrolling down. I actually adjusted that. Let's keep scrolling down, right? So for the curves panel, you want to create kind of like a a nice little J, right? So let's create a point right here. Let's drag that up ever so slightly. And let's create two more points. You want one right here, make it like that. And you want one right there. My apologies, just grab the bottom one, right? So you want it to be like that. Let's just boost that a little higher. Let's not make that go so aggressive. You just wanted to give it like a nice little film. So grabbing the bottom is gonna adjust the shadows and it's just gonna give it more like that film, kind of faded film aesthetic. That should be good. Nice slight little S, J looking thing. That even works. Like I just wanna blow out the the highlights a little bit so that works keep scrolling down I'm not gonna play with the saturation really um, then let's keep going let's do that lens correction I'm not gonna play with any of that let's do the transform nope it's not uh, let's keep going let's add like a nice little vignette right so you want to do like negative 25 or so let's put like a little vignette around it you can leave all this and let's go down to grain right so that's how you kind of like make it look more filmy so let's just do like 75 should work and leave these the same now let's just play with the tint so i actually want to make it i didn't want to make it too green Let's see how that stacks up to the preset that I already have. And by the way, I'll be providing the preset on my website 
for you to go and download it for your own personal use. Um, where is this preset? Ah, uh, vintage. Ah, uh, vintage three. Ah, uh, yes, I forgot to do the split toning. My apologies. So go over to split toning. And let's set this to like 182, right? So this is where we're gonna really get the, like the green hue effect. Let's play with the saturation, put that to like seven or so. Then let's do the shadows, do like 66 and about like 27 or so. Right now you're, now it's looking real green. So let's just go over here and just retouch up the tint. Cause I don't want his, I don't really want to affect the skin tones too much. You can even go over here, play with the vibrancy so it's not like anything too overwhelming. Again, like each photo is gonna be different, but this is pretty much just like how to like get the basic green color and the vintage like grain and all of that type of good stuff. But yeah, when you download the um, preset, you're you're gonna have to adjust it for your particular image, like unless you have the exact same lighting. But you might not, so. I just need to play with this green. It is a little much on his skin tones, but you know, it looks pretty dope. That's the before and that's the after. Might make it a little bit more in the shadows. So that's the example. So let's export this, file export. Let's just put it to the desktop and then let's pull up the comparison to see how it looks compared to the, the Gotti album cover. Yeah, his, his is definitely way greener. I just didn't want to affect his skin tones too much. But hey, I mean, it, it looks pretty similar. Definitely has like that same similar aesthetic going on though. But yeah, hope you guys found some value in this tutorial. Um, planning on doing many more of these in Lightroom, Photoshop, Premiere, even some After Effects tutorials. But if there's any specific tutorial that you would like to see, just let me know down in the comment section below and I'll be sure to check it out. Hope you guys have an amazing day. Peace.